we're in the Begin Center talking about Christian minorities in the Middle East, and I want to take a brief moment to quote Menachem Begin, the late Menachem Begin, regarding the very subject that we're talking about this evening. Menachem Begin, you know, as the head of Likud, became prime minister in 1977, and the very first political decision that he took when he entered the prime minister's office as the prime minister of Israel in May 1977, was in regard to the Christians of Lebanon. He was told, sitting in the prime minister's office in the bureau for the first time, he was told by his military secretary that Palestinians had attacked a Christian village in Lebanon, and simultaneously that the Palestinians in Lebanon, the PLO and its affiliates, had fired Ketusha rockets into Israeli territory. This in 1977. And what he said at that point, I quote, as for the Muslim attack on the Christian civilians in Lebanon, the policy of this government is clear. It is our moral duty as a Jewish state to come to the aid of the Lebanese Christian minority. We Jews know what it is to suffer as a minority. We shall come to the aid of any persecuted minority in the Middle East. The Christian world has abandoned the Lebanese Christians. We shall not abandon them, end of quote. And indeed, Israel, before Menachem Begin became prime minister in 77, already from 75 and 76, and during his premiership, indeed, Israel did not abandon the Christians of Lebanon. So it's appropriate, I think, to mention him in that light as we discuss the issue of Christian minorities in, Le in the Middle East this evening. Our second speaker, who is honoring us with her presence, is Juliana Taimurazi. Briefly, her bio tells us about her that she is an Assyrian Christian born in Iran who fled Iran and requested religious asylum at the American Embassy in Germany. In the United States, when she got there, she obtained a graduate degree and became a reporter at a local station in Chicago. She established businesses, but most specifically in terms of who she is and what her authentic concerns are, engaged in creating employment in the United States for Iraqi Christian refugees, and she has tirelessly worked on behalf of Assyrian, the Assyrian Christian cause in the United States. I'm being brief here and mentioning as a last point that since 2006, Juliana has focused on the plight of the Christians of Iraq through what is called the Iraqi Christian Relief Council an organization she founded in the following year, in 2007. After the First World War, this is me now, after the First World War, there were many minorities in the Middle East, the Assyrian Christians among them, who hoped that they would have an opportunity to express their autonomy and maybe achieve political independence in the new map of the Middle East after the First World War, with the collapse and end of the Ottoman Turkish Empire. The Assyrians were among the minorities who pleaded their case in front of the powers of the world then, hoping that they would be able to mm, exercise self-determination. Unfortunately, history didn't work out that way. Let us hear from Juliana.